Hi, it's me, your boy, huh? back with another video. So, Navia's banner is on rerun right now in Genshin Impact. Now, have you ever sat playing Genshin and thought to yourself, I wonder what her Pokemon Championship team would be? No? Just me? Well, anyway, that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm sort of kind of broke down, sort of... I took her, like, aesthetic into consideration, but I kind of, like, a story about her, her sort of life, her personality, and kind of sort of made a sort of team if she was, like, the Pokemon champion. So, uh, also, we'll note, because um, champion, these Pokemon are fully evolved. Keep that in mind. Anyway. Okay. Up first, we have Indeedee. Now, you may be like, what Indeedee? But here's the thing about Indeedee. So, in its sort of um, breakdown, um, Indeedees are in search of happy feelings, such as joy and gratitude. Um, Indeedee bustles around taking diligent care of people and other Pokemon, which is very much Navia in the Spina, Spina di Rosula. Navia spends her entire life sort of trying to help the underdog or for justice and what's right. And Indeedee kind of sort of shares that sort of thing. She just wants, she wants the right thing to happen. Indeedee is more sort of like peace driven and looking for happiness. Navia is more sort of fighting for justice, but I do think the sort of the pairing do work very well. Um, and Didi's also are always attached to their trainers if they have them. They also, they love companionship. Navia, in a couple of her voice lines, she's like, do you have any plans for today? No? Well, why don't you spend time with me? Like, she likes being around people. <laughs> Navia's for the people. So, and Didi is her first Pokemon. A second, Pokemon, she is going to have an Alcreme. Yes, she's going to have an Alcreme. Navia loves baking. Fun fact, if you didn't know, she has so many voice lines about baking, sweets, baking, cooking, and Alcreme, <laughs> the vanilla cream version, she, they will bring you little fruits decorated with cream. And so Alcreme and Navia are going to be best friends. That is her second Pokemon. Number three. Number three is Livani. <laughs> Livani is a grass type. Um, we're covering Navia's bases. You're like, Livani, that's an interesting choice for Navia. So Livani's sort of breakdown is, though it's gentle in disposition, it will show no mercy to foes who target young Pokemon. Now, a very sort of, I was reading through like Navia's quotes and stuff, and one that was very sort of paramount is kind of who she is as a person. Oh, using the velvet glove or the iron fist when appropriate. So Navia is not afraid to use her halberd <laughs> or to get down dirty, but she fights for justice. And though she generally, I feel like, likes sort of solving issues with words, as we saw in the Archon Quest, um, she will get down and dirty as she did with a Corinth in that sort of park scene, which is really nice. So that's the one thing about Navia is, I mean, when I was looking at Pokemon, there's a lot of ones that are like very much about peace, love and happiness. I love like Togekiss, uh, but they don't, they stray away from conflict, whereas Navia will like go straight in for it. Look, <laughs> I'm doing this the Spina way. So, Livani is her third Pokemon. Her fourth Pokemon, Lapras. Now, you, you might be sitting there thinking like, wait, Lapras don't like fighting. Yes, correct. 
However, I this is kind of like a inspired choice because um, Lapras. So they're kind of going extinct because people are hunting them. They like sort of helping people, taking them across the ocean to and fro. And Navia has to carry such a, she carries such a burden that her father has left behind with Espina di Rosula. And she carries so much weight on her all the time. Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. I feel like she kind of feels kind of by herself a lot of the time, like no one can do what she does. So I felt like this was actually a very sort of tantamount sort of partner for Navia. It's just like an extension of how she feels as a person. She loves what she does, but she also feels sort of like isolated and like carries such a heavy burden. <laughs> Her fifth Pokemon is going to be Dragonite. <laughs> Um, every champion has to have a dragon type Pokemon. So uh, Dragonite is for her. You're like, why Dragonite? Dragonites are gentle, for the most part, gentle dragon types. They are sort of isolated from themselves an island in the ocean, great, put that aside. Um, but you'll often hear stories of them being very kind hearted and rescuing people or Pokemon that are drowning in the ocean. Again, a lot of sort of helping going on and putting your itself second to other people. It's very much Navia-esque. And that's why I felt like her and Dragonite would be a great sort of little team. And then, so finally, for, for Navia's signature Pokemon. I kind of wanted it to be Lapras because of the cannons. Like, cannon fodder will, like, tank, a little bit tanky. But I'm deciding that her signature Pokemon is actually Polyton. <laughs> You're like, done. <laughs> cancel. Cancel. Um, I decided on Politoed because, if you didn't know, Politoed is the leader of the Polys. Like, if the Polys all sort of get together, <laughs> Politoed is the leader of this group of Polys. If a Politoed calls... Poliwag and Poliwhirl will come a-running. So it's very much a leader. Navia is a leader. And she takes charge. Politoads take charge. And they have a sort of nice, sort of happy disposition from aesthetics and sort of as they are as Pokemon. And I just thought like, yes. It's, Navia is like kind of underrated in terms of sort of like DPS potential. I say I love her. But, so, like, people forget about Politoed because they always think of, like, Polyrath. So, yeah, I thought this was, like, synonymous with Navia. So, Navia's signature Pokemon is Politoed. If you liked sort of this breakdown, um, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Who do you think should have been on her team? Do you... Did I catch you off guard with some of them? I'm sure I did catch most people off guard with many of the things that I say. So anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you want to live your best life. Um, I play Genshin Impact on Twitch, twitch.tv slash James. Link is in the description down below. I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day or night, depending on where you're viewing my face from.